What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. This scene from the 1975 movie Jaws is a great example of a J-cut. This is at the end of a uninterrupted 2 minute and 30 second clip, but then there's a cut right at the end and that is a J-cut. So here, Sheriff Brody is going to leave to the right, the next scene begins, but we first hear him before we see him. So that acts as a nice transition. There's no visual transition, but the J-cut serves as a really nice transition. <laughs> If we make an effort today, we might be able to save August. August? <laughs> For Christ's sake, tomorrow's the 4th of July. Did you see that? Or I should say, did you hear that? Well, let's see it again. Larry, Larry, if we make an effort today, we might be able to save August. August? <laughs> okay, so that is the J cut. Now, let's look at a few more examples that I made just to show the difference between a straight cut and a J cut. Okay, so here's an example. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but let's see how much smoother it is with a J-cut. Okay, so here's another example where we go from quiet, meditative to an airplane. Now, again, nothing wrong with that. It just depends on what you want to do, but in many cases, you would like a smoother transition. Okay, so that's really nice. Now here's another example. We have some, you know, soft music to, okay. A little bit abrupt, so this would be nice with a J-cut, just a little bit smoother of a transition. All right, and then we're into the next scene. And the final example, the urban environment to a noisy fire truck. Okay, let's try this more smoothly with the J cut. Okay, so let's look at how to do that in CapCut. Okay, so let's make a J cut. And there are two ways we can do this, two approaches. The easiest one is just to move the first clip up and move the second clip under and then adjust the audio on both of them so it's more gradual. And then this works really well. Right? That's fine, right? But the second way to do it, and the way a lot of people like to do it, is to detach the audio. So you go here, you could do a right mouse click or a control in CapCut, it's called Extract Audio. So now the audio is on the audio layer down below it, and it's separate, so we can move it around and we could get in trouble that way. So you know, we want to be careful with it. Uh, if you're doing dialogue especially, that can be cumbersome. But all we do is just move it to the left, and then the same way, just have it kind of be more gradual. And the same up here. We still have the audio up here, so we can just sort of blend it in. Yeah. Yeah, so that really works. So that's a J-cut. And J-cut, because it looks like a J right here. So how about the L-cut? So for an L-cut, it's just the opposite. You can kind of see an L here. So we're going to pull the sound from the first clip. This is the more noisy clip to the quieter clip. So we want the sound to sort of fade in quite a bit, maybe a little bit more. All right, so we go from a noisy situation to a quieter one. And this acts as a kind of transition. So anyway, that is an L cut. Okay, so that's just a little bit on the J cut, just kind of an introduction. And if you have any questions about this, just let me know. All right, thanks a lot.